now since I got rid of my uh, uh, my, my last uh, Model S. Two years uh, I had uh, the e-tron and one year I had the i-pace. Um, the big question is uh, are they gonna solve all the, the is issues with this uh, autonomous driving system because there's a lot of corner cases that the car have to manage and it's all about, at the moment, this is an assistance system, it's not autonomous, it can't really relieve you of any job, you have to pay attention, like if you were driving yourself, and, uh, and then the big question is, it's a user interface where the car kind of says, I have control, now it's it's pretty much, I have to turn the wheel pretty hard to disengage, there's a bit, and you get this small jerk, but is that a good thing? I'm not sure. Uh, I was pretty, pretty impressed with Tesla system back in 2017, but that's four years ago, uh, a lot of cha have changed since then, and uh, with the autopilot system, not very much has changed really. Uh, my experience from a 
few months of owning this car and driving with it with autopilot is that uh, the system has the same bugs that it always had. It drifts a bit in the lane as you can see here. It uh, will phantom brake a lot. Um, and then the big question is when it's obviously not capable of being fully autonomous, shouldn't it be a more blended user interface like Audi e-tron has? So I prefer that, that's for sure. Um, definitely this car doesn't have a full self-driving. I would not recommend anyone to buy that before. That system does what you really expect from it. Pay for it if they manage to get it in a full production version. Now it's a beta, it's a limited beta. So stay away uh, as for now. Um, hopefully they can manage to fix all the big uh, issues. Uh, for me it's a bit strange that they don't really try to improve this kind of driving, like we're driving and, and leverage that to a level 3 semi-autonomous system where where you don't really need to pay attention but just be in the driver's seat. So that I would, uh, is what I would have done instead of uh, focusing on city streets and city driving which is a lot more complex in my way. Uh, but as you can see the autopilot last minute now has been pretty undramatic feels pretty solid.